Hey what's up guys, so I'm coming at you with another video and today we're just doing a quick update on the awesome Tong case. Fordham University, he got cancelled by putting a picture on YouTube. This one, let's get into it. But first, of course, if you're new to my channel, what is up? My name is Mitch Maverick, Mitch. Hey, Mitch, Mitch. And pretty much, I like talking about what I like talk about. So current events, reviews, and pop culture within the scope of entertainment, culture, and purpose. So again, TV movie reviews. Just watch The Boys. I hope you did too. Also, social political commentary. So be sure to check out all those videos as you're finishing this video. All right, so we are doing an update with the Austin Tong case. I did a video on him uh, months now ago, and so pretty much what happened was he put an Instagram picture of himself in his backyard with his rifle saying, don't tread on me. Um, also, it was an allusion to the Tiananmen Square anniversary. He also paid, put a picture of David Dorn, who, who was a black officer who was... Um, who passed away during the, all the po riots and peaceful protests and everything. So he got knocked by his university just by putting those two things. And so he's been putting a case pretty much trying to say, hey, I did not do anything wrong. And then obviously he talks about, if you want to learn about it, you go go YouTube him. Um, there's like things that he reprimands from the university. Like, oh, if you want to just, we'll put everything aside as long as you put it down type thing. Like, well, I didn't do anything wrong. Why do I have to... Um, bend the knee essentially. So what I like to do is pretty much do kind of like an update because he did make a little statement earlier today and obviously I just want to give news to this because again this is this is kind of like infringing on his free speech type thing. This isn't if we if the university security people investigated and he didn't do anything wrong like obviously there's there's there are some problems, there are some threats that could, or um, there could be some red flags that could be involved if he did put some threats to the school with his guns, because we know there is violence with shootings in schools, right? But if they analyze everything and they're like, hey, um, nothing was wrong here, it's just the university doesn't want to say sorry, essentially. So let's go into some of these things and then, like, let's talk about it. All right, so going into this, this is Austin Tong's Instagram, Comrade Meow. Obviously, it's a play on Comrade Mao, as in Mao Zedong. I, I can't even know if I'm pronouncing it right. But anyway, so this is his Instagram. Um, it talks about his stuff, obviously. And so I kind of want to play the video with him and then put some messages about people trying to support him and everything. He has a picture of, you know, the actual statement or whatever that was going to go into it. Obviously, you can go ahead and read it out for yourself, but I kind of just want to play his video real quick just so that... Um, you know, Austin, we're just tracking. As many of you know me, Comrade Meow. Hi everyone, I'm Austin. As many of you know me, Comrade Meow. I have some not so great news for you. Our case, and it's our case, it's not just my case, <laughs> was just dismissed and unfairly dismissed. Okay, can I just pause right there? Like, obviously people in the, main, in the comments have mentioned it. I, I've seen it too. Um, it's very Trump-esque. When he does that, I don't know if he's doing it on purpose, but he is very pro-Trump, so it wouldn't be, I wouldn't put it past him to be like, he's trying to do like, it's it's our case type thing, like, not my case, our case, our great case, <laughs> the best, the best case, the most important case, so, um, that, that was humorous, so I'm pretty sure he's being light about it, because it's not that serious, but it's serious enough to go against the school, so, um, continue on. This by the NY Supreme Court, and they sided with Fordham University over their decision to punish me. I posted a picture of Captain David Dorn, who was wrongfully killed, and the people who do not care about him. I call I call them hypocrites, which they are, and they're hypocrites. And the other picture was <laughs> me in this spot right here, with my legally owned AR-15, and they said I was threatening people. I am just a supporter of this country a supporter of our constitutional rights, which is the Second Amendment. And now the First Amendment is under attack. They unfairly dismissed us and sided with the wrong people over terrible reasons, thinking that we actually did the wrong thing, which we didn't. I am not giving up. I'm in it for the long run. And this is a fight for not just ourselves, okay? It's also for our rights. And we're not down. We're more optimistic than any time. But we know <laughs> that this is a complicated matter. We're going to keep fighting this. Okay, and we're gonna make sure we have every avenue touched, and we're gonna make sure that we win. And it's a long fight. We're not giving up, and I want you to know that I'm not giving up. 
and we will keep fighting until we win. No other choice. Hi, everyone. So there's that, and I thought it was really good. And like, someone please hire him. Um, obviously, he can't run for president um, because I'm pretty sure he was actually born. Um, I think he said he. W correct me if I'm wrong. Sorry, sorry, Austin, if I get this wrong. I thought you were born in um, Hong Kong, but I could be wrong. But again, sorry if I got that wrong. But anyway, so the point is like. Uh, it's a very, again, very Trump-esque, like, at least he should run for, like, Congress. If we have, like, AOC run for Congress, we can have Common Mao run for Congress. And so, um, obviously he's not, re he's still willing to fight and all that stuff, which is great, right? And so, hopefully he gets this push through and everything. He does have a GoFundMe, right? He doesn't have a GoFundMe, so if you want to go and go in and support him, because obviously there's legal fees cost so much, and so obviously if you want to support him, you can go that way. Um, obviously, if you just want to just give your support just by being aware of the case, that also works too. But I think that so just with that whole little like public announcement, so I thought that was really fun. Like I I didn't take it as it wasn't that serious, you know. And so obviously he wants to give an update and like yes with with the elections and Trump and all this stuff. I think it was I think it wasn't good fun. I'm pretty sure it is. I don't know, but I'm gonna take it that he wasn't being too over the nose or on the nose with like being Trump esque, but just emulating his his style type thing and I thought it was fun and you know and thought it was great so obviously there's other people that were supporting him let's just go some through with there right now so Christy Clark um, put her, her on her Instagram about this um, same thing with Brianna Le Lehman um, so again people know about the situation and people are giving him support and everything and so yeah I mean it's 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 something that like like he said in his own video that you know this is about his two-way, but more so with his one a you know, his free speech, you know, in that he was, he should, he shouldn't be reprimanded for posting on his Instagram something that we clearly know in context that nothing was bad, and it was, it, like, even there wasn't anything slight that was like questionable, you know, like if there was something that you know, like if you play on words, whatever, and then like it could be misinterpreted. This is very clear cut, you know. There's nothing wrong with don't tread on me. I know people on the left and the far leftists and the real woke one said that's that's hate speech, but ask any normal person that's not. And obviously his support for David Dorn is perfectly fine. So yeah, I mean that's pretty much it. Like not like a huge video or anything, but I did want to give an update because I did a video on this and I kind of want to give an update where it is now because other people have been tracking on this and the and the the way and if I can give more awareness and more eyes on this case, I think that will just give more credit to this this for Austin and and everyone else who's trying to fight against conservative um, censorship essentially. So yeah. Last thing I want to do before I close out is just advertise this movie. I'm not being like um, paid for it or anything, but it was just something cool that I saw. I guess because we're talking about like Asian Americans and I figured why not. So anyway, so my friend posted this movie. It's a drama and it's coming out I think later this month on like Amazon Prime and all those um, digital everything. So it was it was with Harry Shum and it's all my life. And so it's kind of cool like you have this inter inter racial relationship and so it was cool I guess it's based on a true story and so I think it was kind of cool it re reminded me of KG Appa's I Still Believe and so I just kind of want to say that so be sure to check out that um, because it's it's cool and then <laughs> I don't know like if you're a sucker for drama not that I am like but I watch more like dystopias and sci-fi and actions but like every now and then you, you can watch a nice cry drama movie so um, but yeah um, thanks for watching. See you in the next video. You can follow me on my Instagram at HeyMitchMitch. You can follow me at my joint Instagram at It's Mandatory Fun, where I do other videos with my friend Jen. I'm also on Parlor, Mavic Mitch, and see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace, peace, peace. Be with you.